When someone thinks of the Industrial Revolution, they think of advances in science like the steam engine and modern locomotives. Very few people consider the intense advances in medicine made during the rev revolutionary period. If the revolution never happened, our modern concepts of the spread of disease, chloroform, and vaccinations may not have been discovered. One of the largest discoveries of this age was the discovery of germs. Germs, the microorganisms responsible for most diseases, were previously unknown, and people could not understand or study the spread and properties of disease. The man who discovered germs, Louis Pasteur, also invented a process to slow the growth of bacteria and milk, today referred to as pasteurization. Building on Pasteur's work, surgeon Joseph Lister believed that airborne bacteria was the reason his surgical patients died. He decided to spray his patients' wounds with carbonic acid to kill the bacteria and created the idea of antiseptics. The first female doctor was also hired during this period. Her name was Elizabeth Garrett Anderson. This first step of equality led to many more women going into the medical field. One such woman was Florence Nightingale, who eventually was known as the Lady with the Lamp because she would make rounds at night with her lantern. During the Crimean War, Nightingale saved monumental amounts of people, reducing the Army's hospital death toll from 50% to 3%. Advances in healthcare also occurred during this period. During the Revolution, there were no laws regulating working conditions. For instance, if a worker was to get hurt, they'd be fired and no medical attendance would be provided. This caused a lot of financial stress upon working families. After many protests and fatal accidents, a couple things changed. Over a hundred people were burned alive because the factory caught on fire and there were no safe, clear exits. After this, there were stricter building codes such as fire regulations. The Industrial Revolution may, made many of the medical advances we have today possible. Without it, we would not have the medicine we have today.